Hey, welcome back. Wanted to talk about getting your house ready for the market. Now, I know it's only November, uh, and, and spring is when usually people really start gearing up for getting their house on the market. But this time of the year is fantastic for getting ready for the spring, even though we're early, because there are so many deals going on that you can actually get your house uh, and all of the materials that you need at a really reduced price because of all the the the, um, uh, the Black Friday deals that are going on. Even tile, paint, they're doing a lot of deals on these kinds of things. You could take advantage of them to get your house ready. Let me cover three things that you can do. Uh, you can start prepping for the spring or whenever you're ready to sell uh, to get your house on the market. Save time, save money, get your house sold for top dollar. Number one, get repairs on your house done. Get a friend over to your house, walk through, let them point out things to you, get a trusted opinion, someone that can uh, walk through your home and give you an honest assessment. This needs to be painted, that needs to be cleaned up. When we live in homes long enough, sometimes we forget about various things and we kind of turn a blind eye to it. Get a fresh perspective. Let them come in there, point things out, call me. I can have one of my staging folks come over there and give you some, some ideas. Absolutely no cost to you. You, you know, 10 different paint colors in the house may be a, a perfect situation for you, but buyers may not enjoy that very much. So start working on those projects. You can go to the Home Depot store or Home Depot Lowe's and you can get discounts on tile and paint, getting all that stuff staged so when spring rolls around, you save money. That is absolutely huge. So do that. Number two, get a pre-inspection. If you call me, I can get my, uh, pr my professional inspector over there and what he can do is he can walk through your house, give you a report and show you anything that may pop up that's a big deal. Usually you'll pay double in a transaction if a buyer finds any problem with your house. You don't want a buyer to find your problems. You want to have them done proactively uh, identified and taken care of before you go to sell because again, we're finding statistics show that people are paying double if a buyer will find it because they want it done right now. It's freaking them out. They don't want to have to deal with it and, and, and that time, that urgency will usually cost you a lot of money. So let's get the inspector over there and get you that report, get you situated. Lastly, get your documents in order. Very, very important. Uh, if you have HOA docs, if you have a T47, if you have a survey, um, all of these things, you need to get those Prepared. Also, call me. I can help you dig into see if you have any back taxes due on your property. Oftentimes, people don't even know. We can go talk to a title company and they can help you dig into uh, any liens on your home or any back taxes. These things can be there. You may not even know about it. So it's very important to have all of that situated. Again, if a buyer finds that, it's going to be delays. It's going to be costly. It may cost you your deal on your transaction. You don't want that. So give me a call. We'll work out all of those things together. So there's three things you can do. Number one, start those repairs. Right utilize the this time of year with the deals get the resources in place so that when you're ready you can start doing it Two, get a pre-inspection done number three get all those documents together dig into your title of your house uh, get your survey your HOA all those materials together so that when you sell it's a uh, it, things go very smooth. You save time. You save money. Very, very important. Um, and, and if you like any of these materials or this website, uh, share it with somebody else. I um, work very hard to bring quality information for you. If you need any, any questions answered, give me a call. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.